cable crane. Uh, well, as, as we explained uh, before, even in the service with the service loads, no, not trying to analyze the ultimate loads, cables, cable behavior are very un, unlinear. Uh, well, they will have a, a, a non-linear behavior due to this uh, large dis displacement and large rotation they have, and also the behavior. It only works for com for tension, non compression, no bending. So. Uh, for these models, non-linear analysis is a must. If I load an example, I'm going to close some of these models. I have about well, if I open here the next model, I'm going to, to show two cable models. The first, a cable Titan. Open it. This is the model. I'm going to plot it with real shape. And I'm going to load the results. I will start with this value. So for plotting these results, I don't want to scale the results. I'm just going to put one for, for this result and plot the real uh, value. And the vertical uh, displacement, which is y direction and deformed shape. So this is the original configuration of my cable. What I'm doing is a displacement of this point in the right direction. So if I advance with the different load steps, I can see how the cable will change, uh, its, uh, will change the configuration from curve to a more straight line. If I plot uh, axial forces in my model, I'm going to start with the last the last value. This is the maximum axial force. The range to keep constant range. So well, this is the last uh, the, the last axial uh, axial force I have in my cable. If I start by the beginning, this is first axial force only self weight that is the reason its axial force is being increased in the length only self weight i'm advancing my model and we can see just axial force is increasing due to this uh, uh, tightening of the cable well this is a real nonlinear uh, uh, analysis nonlinear model it looks like a simple but it's very difficult to solve due to this uh, there is no bending stiffness, uh, no uh, compression stiffness, so it's uh, it's not easy to, to solve this model. Most of the softwares, even if they have cables, uh, they cannot solve this sort of analysis because they have they will have in the normal direction of the cable a uh, rigid uh, body motion that uh, will not allow to find a solution. Civil Fem has a powerful um, algorithm that allows you to solve in this uh, this algorithm applying a, a small press stress and well, some some tricks that allows to solve this sort of problem. If I load the other example I have, the cable crane. Here, this is my cable crane. If I plot this distance. I'm going to do exactly the same steps in the other in the other um, in the other model. I'm going to plot and deform it shape and the deform it shape due to the vertical load that a mobile load on my on my cable. The load I'm going to plot the first load will be this one. Here you can see the vertical load. It will remove all the cables. For this load, if I plot results vertical displacement in this set axis i can see the configuration is very different on applying this load the cable 
has will have this configuration. So the load, instead of being applied in this point, the displacement is very high here. So the forces and moments that I will have in my towers will be with much difference solving in a linear elastic way with a, with a small displacement or solving with the real configuration where the real load is applied and well and um, the the loads that, that arrive to the towers will be much different. I clear the load. So well, if I advance in my results, I can see the mobile the mobile load and the cable configuration due to this mobile load on my cable. This is not a scaled result is here not scaled so this is the real displacement of my model. Well the importance of geometric nonlinearity is very clear with, with this example.